the mass consumption of this excitotoxin substance in the food is interfering with people's ability to think and remember and use language so that our children no longer have the capacity that their parents had. And I think this is getting compounded because there are more and more foods with multiple forms of these excitotoxins, four, five, six in a single food, so that our children, small children in particular, are consuming such large amounts. It interferes with the development of the brain as well as destroying these connections between the brain cells. And that interferes with brain function. And that's, that's what we're seeing nationwide, and in fact, worldwide in the industrialized nations. The reason that the food manufacturers are telling the public that it's safe is because they're making a huge profit off of it. And it's hard to compete with their fellow uh, manufacturers if they don't use the MSG because it's a powerful taste enhancing effect. Uh, so they just tend to ignore all of this research, even though it's uh, literally thousands of studies, and the studies keep growing, proving beyond any doubt in the reasonable mind that in fact this is harming people's brains producing gross obesity, metabolic syndrome, diabetes, uh, infantile diabetes, atherosclerosis. A great number of diseases are now connected to what's happening with MSG exposure. Chips were delivered to the table that were laden with MSG. And one of the things that people don't understand, this can be a silent uh, toxicity. That is, they don't even know it's occurring. Uh, a lot of people will tell me, well, I don't react. I don't have these symptoms of nausea and vomiting and headaches. Uh, well, a lot of people that are exposed to MSG will not have these symptoms, but they get the same damage. And this occurs over a very long period of time, decades. So the brain cells are being destroyed. And until they lose a number of brain cells, they're not even aware that they, they're under uh, this toxicity. Uh, it's uh, known in neurology that you have to lose about 90% of the neurons in a particular area of the brain before you develop symptoms. So you, by the time you develop these symptoms, like dementia or Parkinson's disease, etc., you've already lost 90% of the neurons in that part of the brain, and that's what's very important. Another really new important finding is that it's strongly connected to the growth of cancer. And we know that glutamate, when it's increased in a person's diet, makes their cancer grow very rapidly and becomes highly invasive. That means it spreads all over their body. The problem is no one's telling cancer patients they need to be very cautious about taking in these food additives because it makes their cancer grow much faster and become uh, more invasive, which means they're, they're less likely to survive their cancer.